fit, 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 fit. You know the importance of fit at this point. You know that in order to look your best, you don't want to wear clothes that are too big or else it's going to make you look short, dumpy, and definitely not as sexy as you are. But it is equally as important not to wear clothes that are too small or else you're going to look like a sausage. And so today, guys, what I want to do is go over a few ways for you to tell if the clothing that you're wearing is perfect or if it's actually a little bit too small. Today, I'm going to go over the six most common offenders. We're talking about jeans. We're talking about t-shirts. We're talking about button-ups. We're also talking about slacks slash chinos, suits, not to mention shorts, as in are they too short? Gentlemen, if you're ready to not look like a sausage, why don't you drop me one of these to be like, yo, algorithm, I'm not looking like a sausage. I want to look sexy. Speaking of sexy, if you dig this lightweight, Hoodie, it's from today's video sponsor, Cuts. It is perfection, definitely sexy. If you have not checked out Cuts, you gotta hit that link down below. Right now, they recently dropped their new collection. Ridiculous, the colors are absolutely amazing. Cuts, best t-shirt out there, period. I'm gonna link to them down below. If you're interested, you better hurry because they sell out of these bad boys super quick. Now, let's talk about you and your jeans. All right, guys, so here's an example of a pair of denim that is way too tight for me. I'm gonna give you a little, a little rotation, let you check out the goods so that I can then explain why these are too tight and how you'll know. The first thing I want you to notice is my crotch area, all right? One thing you need to also realize is that I'm not a gigantic dude. I'm very average, but it looks like I'm big, and the reason is because of the fact that these jeans are too small. Notice all of the whiskering up here around the crotch. Notice the pucker on the fly, all right? If your jeans were the right size, that fly is going to lay nice and flat, nice and clean, but when they're too small, either here in the crotch area or the waist size, you're going to get a pucker up here near the top. You can see the hamstring glute transition. That means they're too small. If you squat down, right, do the new jean bounce, every single one of you, when you grab a new pair of denim in the dressing room, I want you to do three squats, all right? What this does is break the fibers. It's also going to allow you to know whether or not those jeans are going to lay right on you, all right? When I do the bounce, check out, boom, I go down and it exposes like literally like half of my ass crack. A little bit of weight Band, no problem. Half my ass, bam. The last test is what I call the circumcision test. When you're putting your jeans on, you look in the mirror, can you tell that you're circumcised? AKA, can you see like wiener detail? If the answer is yes, they're too tight. So next up, we're gonna talk about t-shirts. Before I actually talk about what not to do, I wanna show you what to look for, all right? In terms of a perfect fitting t-shirt, for me, it doesn't get any better than this one from Cuts, all right? Crew neck, simple, clean, no pockets, perfection, right? The thing that I love about these t-shirts, they're snug to the chest, which they should be, and the arms aren't crazy long, all right? You also wanna make sure that when you're shopping for a t-shirt, that the sleeves aren't like big and like roomy, or else it's gonna make your arms look super small. In terms of the body of the shirt, guys, a little trick I will tell you is when you're wearing the shirt, grab it, all right? Grab it on either sides. You should get at least an inch in each of your fingers, all right? If you don't get at least an inch, chances are that shirt is going to be too small, all right? If it's too small, it's going to make you look like a sausage. Now, the other thing you need to pay attention to is that the shirt isn't too short. A lot of times what happens when you buy a t-shirt off the rack, it's perfect, but as you wear it, as you wash it, they start to shrink up. Let me now show you a t-shirt that's wrong. Guys, okay, so here's an example of a t-shirt that's actually too small for me, all right? Now, when you look at me, you're like, yo, it's not too tight, it looks okay, but check out the length, all right? You can actually see my belt loops just when I'm standing there, and that is a big mistake that I see a lot of guys making. They're wearing t-shirts that are actually too short. Guys, if I do anything, look what, look what happens. My wife will always be like, yo, nobody wants to see your pubes. Now let's do the pinch test, gentlemen, all right? When I pinch this shirt, Look at that, I get about three inches on either side, all right? This means that the shirt is definitely a little bit too boxy and too big on me. Here's an example of a shirt that's way too small, all right? It is not only snug, it's tight, all right? It's tight in the body. If I try to pinch, I don't even get an inch on either side. The length, notice, it's too short. If I reach, you can see my pubes up top in the chest and the arms. It's just too tight. And here's an example of a Henley that fits me properly, all right? Once again, snug to the chest and the arms, but the body of the shirt, it's not too big, it's not too baggy, all right? I do the pinch test, I get about an inch on either side. The length, if I reach, 
which it's not actually exposing my pubes. This shirt also from the New Cuts collection. Guys, I'm telling you, this color is fire. All the colors, honestly, are so sexy. Guys, hit the link down below and go check out Cuts. Not only do they have perfect t-shirts, they also have perfect Henleys, perfect long sleeve tees. Check it out. What do you think of this one, right? Same color as the Henley, but this time I went with the V-neck. I also went with the curved hem t-shirt, guys. Flawless, nice and snug through the chest, not too tight in the body, making me look like a sausage. The arms, exactly, they look big, even though they're not really big because of the sleeve length and the fit. Guys, if you're in the market for a new t-shirt, new Henley, new long sleeve tee, new hoodie, hit the link down below and go check out the new collection from Cuts. It is ridiculous. The colors are amazing, they're rich, they're fun, but they also have your classic Cuts colors like black and white and all the sexy ones. Guys, hit the link down below, go get that discount because the truth is, it's it's gonna sell super quick. So if you're interested, guys, now is the time. Hit the link down below and go get yourself a sexy ass cut shirt. All right, gentlemen, so next up, we gotta talk about your slacks and your chinos because these are one of the pants that absolutely makes you look like a sausage fast if they're the wrong size, all right? And the reason is because of pocket flare. Pocket flare is one of the things that so many guys that rock chinos or slacks experience. And the reason is because, well, there are a few reasons. Reason number one is that your butt is a little bit too big for the style or the cut of pant that you're actually wearing, all right? If your butt is bigger, you're going to see a little more tugging or pulling at the pocket. Also, your junk. If you got a big sausage, chances are those pockets are going to be flaring because it's pulling the pants in opposite directions. See what happens? When I pull this way, the pocket opens up. And so a good solution to that is to actually size up. If you are rocking a pair of slim fit chinos or slacks, what I recommend is go up. If your waist is normally a 30, go 31, possibly 32. Now, if the pants actually become too big in other areas like the legs, you could always have them tapered. Another option to make those slacks or chinos fit better is to actually take them into the tailor and have the seat let out, where they'll actually go in, and if your pants have that extra triangle of fabric inside, you can actually take your pants off and look and see if they do, they can actually expand the seat, making them fit a little bit better and reducing pocket flare. Check it out. Here's an example of a pair of pants that you cannot let out at the seat, all right? So you're stuck with it. And so if these are going to be flaring, you got to size up and then take them to be altered in other areas. But the deal is, guys, if you want to make sure that you don't look like a sausage, you've got to eliminate pocket flare and pulling at your crotch. Next up, gentlemen, let's talk about button-up shirts. Another one of the biggest offenders when it comes to dudes looking like they're wearing and clothes that are too small. All right, so check this out. What about this shirt? How does it fit me, all right? In the body, it's all right, not too bad, right? Nice and, nice and tailored. But what about the length? This shirt is way too short. Now, I built this. This was my fault. I took a measurement, I sent it off, I got it. And when I got it, I was like, oh, I was intending on wearing it unbuttoned. But because of the length, it's even too short to be worn unbuttoned. It's also too short to be tucked in. But check it out. Here's a shirt in terms of length that is absolute perfection. Not too long, cover my crotch, not too short. It's good. But what about the buttons? Notice when I sit what happens to these buttons, right? Notice that the placket starts pulling and puckering, right? This is a sign and an indicator that the shirt that you're actually wearing is too small. And so when you're in a store trying on a button up, even if you're like, yo, I think it looks great when I'm standing, you gotta sit down and see what happens to the buttons, right? If they pucker, this is a sign it's too small. But what about this shirt, all right? In terms of the fit, nice and snug still, but when I sit, what happens? Woo, look at that. The placket lays nice and clean. This lets me know that this shirt fits me properly. The other one makes me look like a sausage. All right, so next up, we're talking about suits. Suits have the ability to make you look amazing if the suit fits you properly. But suits are one of the things that guys get wrong a lot of times and are actually wearing one that not only is too small, it looks a little bit silly, all right? So let's first address the jacket, all right? The one thing you need to pay attention to is this button, all right? When you button a suit jacket, if you are seeing a bunch of pulling and tugging around that button, that's a sign that the jacket needs to be let out or you need to size up. Also, if you're standing there and you're facing forward, if that suit down here at the bottom is opening up and you can actually see your shirt through it, this is another sign that the suit jacket is too small. The shoulders are another area that you got to pay attention to, all right? Typically, what you want to look for is a shoulder that is very natural in shape, right? Not too structured, not too boxy, all right? The next thing we got to talk about, though, is the pants. Now, of course, we addressed it with the chinos, but I just want to point out the fact that if you are wearing a pair of slacks and you see any type of puckering 
down by the pocket, you gotta make sure you have those pants altered, all right? Once again, the front should be nice and clean, no tugging by the fly, no whispering at the crotch. And last but certainly not least, gentlemen, let's talk real quick about shorts, all right? Shorts, I see a ton of pocket flare going on, and the reason is because most shorts have a very similar pocket to chinos or slacks. They're on the side, and so if your butt is a little bit big or the waist is a little bit small or your package is huge, it's going to tug making those pockets actually flare. And so what I'd recommend is actually size up in those shorts if you're seeing any pocket flare or pulling in the crotch. In terms of how long or how short they should be, guys, a general rule of thumb for me that I would like to share with you, four fingers above your kneecap is where your shorts should fall, all right? If they're shorter than that, they are gonna look a little bit shorter. If they're longer than that, Typically, it's going to make your legs look short. Now, the beautiful thing about shorts nowadays is that they come and are manufactured in a lot of different inseams, all right? So if you're a tall dude, you can get an inseam that's a little bit longer, maybe 10, 11, and it's going to look appropriate. If you were rocking a five inch or a six inch, it's gonna look like you're wearing super short shorts. But if you're a short dude like me and I tried to rock a 12 inch short, it's gonna be way too long. And so for me, I wanna go eight, seven, possibly six. So in terms of what looks better, whether or not your clothes are too tight or too big, it's really a toss up. Both look terrible. And unfortunately, the line between just right and too tight is a thin one. You've just got to pay attention to the things that we talked about in this video. Hopefully it helped. If it did, why don't you drop me one of these to be like, yo Alpha, I kind of dig this style tutorial. You're getting back to your roots and I appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for rolling with me. I think you're incredible. And now hopefully you don't look like a sausage.